Okay, so third time lucky. <clears throat> He's rolling the grey ski. And then Jackson, I think, is in the blue ski. And then Jimmy's here. He's the fastest off the start. You can see sort of ahead, marginally. Um, so just interesting watching what happens. Okay, so what's hap what happens on the, so that's competitors ready, and then into the set. And you can see Trimmy's got this quite extended arm position, and he moves the ski forward. So watch the ski move forward. He's squatting down. And they're all actually squatting down. That's a big thing that with our squad that we don't do. Watch this bloke, this bloke. Set. Basically bum drops down just like a full squat. Um, and that's to enable them to do the vertical jump. So let's watch Trimmy here. It's a good vertical jump. Don't know that the left leg got clean. Hard to tell, uh, but good vertical jump. Paddle comes around, and one of the first pe first people with the blade in the water. Interestingly, if you have a look at Riley over the end here, so this is him here. So he's anticipated the start or good reactions or whatever. But he's, by fair stretch, the first person out of the water. Got really good height. And hands clearing the boat as um, the legs come through. So really nice, clean jump. Paddle comes up quite high. And actually, if you look at Trimmy, he's got his blade in the water and it's halfway through his catch before these guys have got the blade in the water. So not as good a jump by Trimmy, but getting the blade in the water earlier um, makes a big difference. But probably the key thing I took out of this, apart from the squat during the um, set phase, was how, how quickly they get into their normal stroke. Let's just have a look at this at slow-mo. So they're, they're pretty much paddling their normal stroke R right from the start. Maybe a couple of short strokes. Watch Trimmy again. So still a reasonable stroke. Shaft's still quite vertical, so that's his second. So one, one. So that's his first stroke on the right, and look how vertical his shaft is. He's, it's pretty much a full stroke. Look, here, look where he's exiting. He's, he's, and he's catching pretty much where you'd want him to catch. Um, oops. Oh, shit. Um, hope that works still. He's catching pretty much where you want to catch. Got the bent elbow on the guide hand, which is moving around and then exiting. So it's pretty much a normal stroke, his first stroke on the right. A little bit loose on the left. Another good stroke on the right. This is Trimmy still. Better stroke on the left then. So it's pretty much straight into your normal paddling and that's because these guys, their cores and they've got such strength. So watch them again in slow-mo. Just straight into your normal stroke, but just with brute strength. So let's have a look at um, Foxy, because Gravy was um, having a look at him. 
So, so this is Foxy here. So again, really deep down on the on the it's quite look how deep he is, he's deeper than probably any of them and a bit a bit slow. Again, look at Riley over here. Foxy, I don't know whether he, he may have done a little rebound sort of type thing on the start. Anyway, watch him come up. Legs nice and clear. Same sort of thing, letting go of the ski, paddle comes over. Not a great first stroke there. Gray was talking about him sort of being a bit tilted. So here he is there again. It does look a little bit tilted to the left, not a heap though. Not sure I'd be tilting the boat, I don't know. Maybe. Not the best, for, really missed his first stroke there. But then he's got his second stroke, and again, it's pretty much a full stroke. Good catch there. See the right arm. Good position of his right elbow on that catch and rotating through. And just normal stroke, straight up. So that's, that's what I take away from from this, watching Foxy again, miss the first stroke, but despite that, still into his normal stroke straight away. So let's go to the other end of the race just to watch them coming in. It's nice, nice looking at them technically. They're coming around. Riley is a bit more hunched than I would have expected, but but again, oh, good catch, rotating around with that bent elbow block. Good catch, watch the left elbow block. Bit bit a bit a bit lower than what I would have thought. I haven't watched him paddle that much. But still getting that catch and rotating through. So that's, there's not a lot of elbow movement. Oh, it's a bit of elbow movement on the catch, but yeah, a bit of elbow flexion actually. All right, this bloke seems to paddle quite nicely. I've forgotten who he is. Um, He's unwinding a bit with his knees before the catch. Pretty hard to do this in surf, full on surf, but, and he's actually extending his elbow more than probably what Riley's doing. Let's have a look on the other side. Oh, maybe not. It is a little bit the angles, isn't it? But looks looks pretty good there. Let's go towards the end when they're really driving. This is some good footage here with Jackson. Look at that rotation. So coming through here, good catch. Again, bent front elbow a bit, but really driving through there. Good rotation, good leg drive. Again, there's the block. But not, not quite as tight as what we're seeing in the boys in the K1s, as you'd probably expect. Having this guy in a bit better view. So from here, Good leg drive. Still reasonably rotated on the catch. 
and good right guide arm position coming through. So we're catching there, still pretty rotated on the trunk and the knees. Again, the left hand, left elbow, the guide arm. Good control through the rotation. So yeah, summary is um, really getting down low, squatting, get that vertical jump happening and get that block coming in as soon as you can um, after a stroke, stroke or two. Hope that helps.